Dave Marsh, Shy Golf TV, back once again. Now we're working through seasons one and season two, some of my favorite videos and tips and drills to help your game. We're on the long game at the moment, so let's watch these five videos and then I'll tell you what they're all about. Fold it into four and then we're gonna place it under both of our armpits. So you can see, once we get it under the armpits there, we've now got the arms pressing against the body. So what I wanna try and create is this feeling that the left shoulder is gonna to turn together. Now from there, you can see the towel is comfortably fit. I'm not holding it too tightly against there. It just simply stays in that position because the connection is so good on this move back. Now, when you first start doing this, you'll find that you probably won't be able to hit a full shot. So I really want to encourage you just to hit some short, maybe 90 to 100 yard shots. I've got a nine iron here. Let me go ahead and hit a short shot for you. So I just turn the body back connection. So here's a three iron and what I'm going to do, you can see I'm just placing it just below my belt. Now the important thing with this tip is that you're going to really push hard with both hands. The left arm is going to be pushing forward to stop it and then the right arm wants to push back past that left. Push back past that left. Really work hard on getting this turn. There. You know, this is a great drill to do before you go out to play to warm up the hip and we want to maintain the arms. See how my arms are close together? They're still close together as I come through. We haven't got this going on. So it's pretty simple. I'll hit a ball so you can see it happen. Now look at my arms there where they've finished. Just focus, I can only just look through them. Hello. So you can see that I've still got that connection just there, but not getting that horrible separation. Now what happens, whenever I move my right arm, it moves my left arm and brings my shoulder with it. So quite simply, I'm just gonna turn back, turn there. You can see my left shoulder's turning because it's connected to my right. It's turning, it's turning. And you can see with this reference point of the ball on the floor, that my left shoulder's now turning back, back, in line or even behind that ball. I'm in a great position there. Now, we put our right side up against the umbrella. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna turn inside that umbrella. So as we turn back, we're not gonna move into it and touch it anymore. You can see it's just touching the outside of my right leg. What we're actually going to do is we're gonna turn inside of it. So as we turn back, you can see at the top of my swing now, I haven't laterally moved onto it. I've just turned around it. There's a big, big difference there. Watch again. As I turn back, I turn onto my right side, but I'm turning inside of the umbrella there. Now, having watched those five videos, hopefully you can see a similar type of theme running through all of them, and that's connection. That was a trigger word through season one and two. You can see in the first video, by using the towel, it enables us to get excellent connection. Now, practicing the hip turn is great because you can practice this away from the golf course and you don't, need a, you don't need a ball to do it, but that's gonna help your connection. The next thing we looked at was the arms on the through swing. By keeping the arms connected as we come through, that keeps everything moving through into the target. Every time we get separation, there's a chance that you're gonna have to add an extra move to your golf swing, and that's what we don't want. We wanna be able to keep the golf swing nice and clean. Which leads us on to video number four. We looked at the left shoulder turning. Again, the more we can keep this left shoulder turning, the easier it is for our hands and arms to stay connected. Very important tip. Again, a great one because you don't need a ball, so you can practice this in the office or at home. And the final video was about transferring the weight. A lot of players feel like when they turn the club back, they should be moving too much weight onto the outside of their right foot. That's not what we want. So by explaining it in that video, hopefully you understand what we're trying to get on the backswing. So go ahead, keep watching these videos over and over again. Don't just watch them once.